Good morning everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Today I am working on something new, something actually outside of cars, but it is another project for me and I'm excited for this one. I got you. I got you. I got you. There you go. So a few weeks ago my brother came to me and said that one of his neighbors needed something painted. So I decided to go over and take a look at what I might be working on and I decided to take on the project. Got it over at the house right now. Let's take a look at it. I'll show you guys what I'll be working on for the next few weeks. So I am excited for this one. It's a 1975 Trillium Camper. This thing is in amazing shape. Apart from the paint, it's in really, really good shape. Fiberglass completely, no damage to the fiberglass. The only issue is the previous individual who painted it had a lot of runs. It almost looks like whenever they saw a run, they started using a brush to try and clean it up. And it's just in really bad shape when it comes to paint. But overall, it is, it's awesome, it's really cool. So the plan with this is to actually sand it down. After that, hit it with some epoxy primer, then do it with a single stage urethane. It's gonna be a white color. I got two weeks to do this, so I'm gonna try my best to get as much done as I can today when it comes to sanding, because I might get some rain in the evening. But let's just look a little bit closer on the things that I'm gonna have to do as well when it comes to the finer details. One thing here you see is the stickers. It sucks that they've already been painted over before. There is like a point here where it almost looks like it's bubbling. I might try this one right here and uh, hit it with a heat gun and see if I can lift that off. That's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but that's probably the biggest piece that I'm worried about is the stickers. No cracks to the fiberglass. There is a little scratch right here, which I'll have to fill in with some filler. Nothing crazy. There's a lot of paint runs. Almost when it leads up to the edges here, how bad it is right here. There's a lot of runs. Almost looks like the brush stroke is coming this way to clean it up. I'm gonna take it off the door, paint it in there nicely, clean it up. These window trim pieces as well. I'm gonna polish these guys. I'm gonna take these cover pieces off, recoat those as well. There's a black trim that goes in here. Uh, the people who I took this project from already took that off for me. So they did a couple things for me that helped me out already. There used to be a tire on the back here and a couple other components. I'm excited for this project. This thing should be pretty fun. Like, I, I really enjoy the aspect of painting and I'm happy to take on another painting project because I think I can make this look pretty good. And I'm, I'm curious to see how I can do with single stage paint. Like I've done the base coat clear coat, but single stage I think should be just as easy. If anything, probably easier. Let's go grab the pressure washer and get everything started up. Get a soap bucket and start cleaning this thing up. And then we'll dry it off and start working on sanding. I wanna get these strips off right here because they're holding a lot, a lot of dirt in there. Doesn't make sense to wash it and then have to wash it again because I don't want to be sanding that into the paint. how bad the paint job is here you can just see this weird transition of painting I don't know it's like one coat and then two coats it, it's just a really bad job you can see the two different shades of color here I don't know what happened when this guy was spraying it but with the camper now dry just gonna clean up the pressure washer get that put away and get the sanding underway I'm gonna tackle off the big panels the big flat pieces first, then I'll work on the, the edges and all the grooves later, but I just wanted to see how the 220 is gonna knock down that you know crazy orange peel run to paint that I'm working with. Like a good hour or two in with sanding. It's coming out pretty good, honestly. It's not gumming up the paper, which is nice. This is just 220. 
and I can still see a lot of like a shine from the old paint that's there so we're gonna still have to knock it down a bit a lot. you can see how much like of an orange peel there is there got to get it nice and smooth closer to like something like this and then we'll hit it with some 340 after that here's a sticker on the front end now I sanded this down to where I can't feel any transition or any lip like I can't feel anything on the hand it's it's nothing there. If I try and scrape my finger against the edge of where the sticker would be, it's nothing because the paint is so thick that it's like sealed up to the edge of where that old sticker used to be, or it still is. But there's no crack mark or anything. It's like, do I just go to this point on all of the stickers and then paint it? If you look at this sticker right here, it actually is a that's a bubble in there behind that sticker, but all the other stickers seem to be fine. What do you guys think? Should I take that off or should I just leave them the way they are? Because if I'm gonna have to do it, I'll probably have to sand it down that much. Take a heat gun, pop it off easier, but I don't know. It's not like it looks bad. It's not like it's gonna be bad. I think once I get the epoxy primer on here, it's gonna be perfect, but. So after a couple hours, this is how we're looking like. Still a lot to do, nowhere near done, but. I'm gonna take off the doors too. I just not taking them off today because it's going to rain soon. It's already actually starting to spit. But I'm going to clean up all this hardware, polish it up nicely. Man, I'm excited for this. Thing looks pretty sweet. It's already getting a lot of attention from the neighbors. They're thinking it's mine. Cause I got a family of four. They're always asking how I'm going to fit four people in here. It's, ni it's nice. It's pretty cool. I like it. Quite happy to be doing the painting as well again. I think it's probably the th most thing I enjoyed with uh, when I was painting the Honda and working on the Honda. Other than driving it, but painting is actually quite fun for me body work but going a single stage paint here is going to be different for me so it'll also be different for you guys as well that's why i think it's a perfect thing for the channel right now a lot of people have had uh, interest in the previous videos of me painting with my base coat clear coat so it now gives you an opportunity to see single stage paint which is a little bit more affordable versus the base coat clear coat if you do decide to go that way all right guys i'm gonna finish this up right now i should have another video for you guys in a couple days Pending weather, give you some more updates. It's probably gonna be more sanding, but yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be good. So I'm gonna keep on going before it rains. I will see you guys in a couple days.